What is Pilates? Pilates is a system of exercises developed by Joseph Pilates and it actually is very deep in terms of that it involves both the body and the mind. There's a great emphasis on how you execute the movements and a particular attention to detail in doing them in a very specific manner rather than just going to the gym and flinging yourself around. There's a tremendous benefit in that it offers both strength flexibility and coordination improvements and I think this is one of the reasons that it's become so popular. On the mind side of it, many people are drawn to Pilates because of the relaxation end of it, the ability to step outside of the chaos of their life and become more centered and more inward and focus on taking time to really do something for themselves in their whole being. Who should do Pilates? I'm often asked who should do Pilates, and that is a great question, and my, my answer to that is going to be Pilates is for anyone, but not for everyone. And what I mean by that is it's accessible to anyone, and that is what makes it so, in a sense, miraculous. Uh, you know, people speak of the magic of Pilates, and truthfully, I think the magic is that you can work with uh, I've worked with kids as, as young as kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and I've worked with people well into their 90s. Uh, I've seen uh, athletes, dancers, actors, uh, Olympic athletes, uh, and, and people coming out of surgery. It's used for rehabilitation and therapeutic needs. It truthfully can be used for the entire spectrum of the population. But that dot does not mean that everyone is going to love Pilates. My wife doesn't. So uh, <laughs> that speaks for itself. I hope my dear wife Adele does not mind me saying that. But um, uh, it is not for everyone. It has uh, components within it that are not for everyone and not everyone will relate to what Pilates is about, but it is about an exceptional system of exercise, it is about focus, it's about mental concentration, it is about body awareness, it has so many attributes that can enhance a person's life in every way. You've traveled extensively studying and teaching Pilates. Tell us about some of your more interesting or memorable adventures. I've had the privilege of traveling extensively, teaching and studying Pilates, and it truly has been a wonderful journey over the last 30 years. My adventures have taken me from South Africa to Australia to, of course, America, to Europe, throughout Europe. In 2003, I was honored to be the first Pilates professional to be officially invited to mainland China. And it was just a wonderful experience to come to this land of 1.3 billion people and be officially asked to introduce Pilates. Soon after that, I taught in Moscow at an enormous conference there. Um, just seeing the different cultures, meeting different people, seeing how Pilates is embraced in different countries has truly been a very exciting part of my teaching and, of course, my studying. I strongly believe that every teacher is eternally a pupil. I've had the joy of being able to travel to many places teaching Pilates and uh, the whole area of anatomy and kinesiology. Uh, over 375 workshops in the last 30 years and I think the greatest joy I've had is in international experiences. Uh, for example, in the last year I had the pleasure of going to Australia and seeing how they were able to integrate uh, billing Pilates exercises more within their medical system. Uh, I also had the pleasure of going to Germany and seeing uh, that people there integrated it in a more physical manner than sometimes in this country and that they had greater involvement of men in their programs. 
in Italy, there's a passion about Pilates, there's an excitement about Pilates that's refreshing, that reminds me of sort of the earlier days of, of Pilates in this country. And I, I feel that each country and each area that we've had the pleasure to work in has a different perspective. And despite the different language that's used, the different emphasis that's used, there's a universal language in Pilates. It doesn't matter if you can't speak Italian, doesn't matter if you can't speak German, you can still communicate with anyone in the world through the language of Pilates. What do you think the future holds for Pilates? Will participation continue to grow? I'm extremely optimistic about the future of Pilates. I think that the industry has uh, experienced tremendous growth, exponential growth over the last 10, 15 years. Uh, I find it almost impossible to believe myself, this growth. Um, I think that the future for the Pilates industry and for people practicing Pilates is indeed an optimistic one. And certainly with the influx of information and knowledge into the industry, I am sure that we are promised a very, very bright future. I think the future for Pilates is very bright. It's been amazing to see it grow, not only in scope but in depth. I feel that instructors and participants are getting more educated, are interested in more depth and more understanding of what they're doing, which makes the timing of this book perfect. And I'm particularly, again, excited about the international surge. There's countries like Turkey and China that are growing in their interest in Pilates in leaps and bounds. So I think that there's many, many more people that can be reached by Pilates and that it's becoming much less exclusive and much more available to uh, the whole world.